Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Mandy and I want to try a color palette I have in my head on this little 8 inch bloom for two reasons. I'm, I haven't been able to paint in like over a week and I'm a little rusty and I want to keep practicing blowing out the blooms myself which I'm, if you follow my channel you know has been a struggle for me. So I want to show you the colors I think I'm going to use and then I may voice over the rest just to save some time, but just know that um, sometimes what cripples me and makes me take forever to paint is I have all these ideas of like <clears throat> potential color palettes and I'm like, well, I could do this or 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 I could do this cell activator or this cell activator. And so I was watching um, a live in the Shelly art class um, where Shelly was talking about interference colors, which I love to use. And... Um, she was talking about using um, interference colors as a cell activator, either the ones that you can make on your own using pigments or using the Amsterdam pearl colors, which are just Amsterdam's interference colors, um, which is what I did. So um, you can make a cell activator using like your color art um, interference colors. To me, I would rather just use those in the layers of the bloom. Um, to then use as a cell activator because a cell activator will play its part but it won't necessarily be as vibrant as a layer plus uh, making cell activators with pigments is a little bit more work than just mixing and when you have limited time to paint sometimes you don't want to do all that so just know that this came um i was already thinking about this color palette and when i watched that i was like you know that would be a fun bloom to try that on so i'm going to use um I'm just going to use the interference cell activator as a supplemental cell activator to my regular one. So I'll get to that in a minute. So I'm not sure which order yet I'm going to do these in, but I'm going to use uh, this quinacridone crimson color from Holbein. I really love it. It's sort of like a quinacridone magenta with more of a maroon shade. I really love Holbein paints. It's a little bit thick, so I'm going to put a little Josonia in it. But I really love the Holbein colors and their paint line. I like their fluids and their regular acrylics. So, um, just for what it's worth. I thought about using their Azo Brown in here. And I was like, um, maybe not. So, I may regret that later. So, then I also have like 15 other ways I could use similar colors. And use some of the same primary elements. And so, I'm like, well, maybe I'll just make a couple of posters with all the different varieties and then I'll kind of know which ones I want to use. So this is Tangerine Dream. This is a really cool color. This is a color art primary element in the most recent set. It's a really cool color. It's it's like a pink that has a blue shift, but it's sort of like a corally pink. It's really beautiful in case you didn't want to gawk over that a little bit. I'm going to use a little bit of turquoise thalo. I don't have very much left and I just got more um, so I decided I would use what's in here and I want to use citrine druzy which is also a primary element from the most recent set. This one's a little bit thick so hopefully it'll be okay. But look at that. And then I want to use amber wing which is gorgeous. Another primary element from the most recent set. So look at that beautiful like violet pink shift so pretty okay now I'm going to use a little bit of carbon black from Matisse um, right underneath my cell activator just to kind of create some separation I just hope I don't use too much because if I don't blow it out well it's gonna dominate the top then I'm gonna use a, a pearl red which is an interference red cell activator with a little bit of black. So that one is Amsterdam, the pearl color. A little bit of black from Graham. Uh, this is lamp black. And bronze from Amsterdam. The only thing I'm torn about is if I should put this one on the top. But I think that's what I'm going to do. So, whew, I hope it works out. I'm going to be using the bloom recipe. I do have a tutorial below showing 
what I usually mix my blooms in. This is an 8 inch Frederick's round canvas I got from Blick. I do have my Blick link below. Um, just if you shop through Blick and use our link, it helps our channel. There's no particular special savings, it just helps our channel. So, what I'm a little nervous about is the order of the paint and the order of the cell activator. But the only way we're going to find out is by jumping in. So we're going to just do that. And uh, yeah. So I'm going to put my pillow paint down. And which is Valspar something awesome in eggshell. I need to remember to list it below. But my normal pillow is Glidden Premium in eggshell. But this one works pretty well. So I'm going to layer it and we'll get going. All right, so here it is. Now, one of my challenges is I usually use too much pillow paint, which works if you need to get to the edges, but one of the problems when you're blowing out blooms yourself, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat is so scratchy today. When you're blowing out blooms yourself, one of the challenges is that um, you have too much paint on the surface, and so as you blow into your bloom it sinks You're, basically it sinks into the paint because you have too much paint so like right now too much paint oh well I'm just gonna spread it out a little bit and um, we're gonna go from there oh, I really need to change the dressing on this thing all right so I'm gonna start with a I think I'm gonna start with the quinacridone crimson as my first layer. The only thing I'm a little nervous about is it's pretty thick, so it's not bad for a, a color. Um, like if you're layering, layering it um, toward the top and it's not gonna be like your main puddle, but it's pretty thick to be in the bottom. I just don't want it to like flocculate as it spreads out. So I just added a little Josonia to it and uh, Put it down. Now I I do use a lot of paint, so and sometimes not all of it stays on the canvas, so I realize that's some people get sensitive about it, I get it. Um, but kind of comes with the territory, right? With the blooms. Part of the practicing and all that means you're gonna use too much paint. Alright, next up. I'm going to do this Tangerine Dream. Am I remembering that name right? Yes, Tangerine Dream. So pretty. Okay. And then I'm going to do amber wing then I'm gonna do I also thought about oh no I just saw a big globby of paint I may not be able to find it again I hate that there's some <clears throat> I also thought about using the custom purple I used in a couple of videos back instead of the red. So, I don't know, you may see these colors a lot while I try to work all that out in my head. So this is Citrine Druzy, super cool color. Maybe used a little too much. And then we're gonna use um, some t turquoise phthalo from Golden. Sorry, I'm super focused. So I hope that you guys got to see our color art collaboration. If you didn't, you can go back and watch all the videos. Um, it would have been Sunday's video for me, the 24th. So you can go back and watch all the videos and you can compile the secret phrase and you can be entered into the drawing 
<clears throat> to win the $400 shopping spree for color art or the individual channel prizes. It's a super cool opportunity. It was a really fun collaboration. I think there was 14 of us, which is uh, really awesome. So don't forget so that if you want a chance to win, you get a chance to do that. <clears throat> I'm sorry about my throat. Okay, so this light is really irritating me because it is making everything look funky. Okay, so I'm going to put a tiny, just a little bit of black. Just a little bit. It's also kind of thick. Just to kind of separate. Um, and then we're going to use the three cell activators, which makes me super nervous because I'm blowing it out myself. So we've got the interference red. And then we've got some black. Now, all of these were pretty much mixed, <clears throat> excuse me, about three parts Australian Floetrol to one part paint. I do get my Australian Floetrol from Pixel Paint Designs, which is also where I get my boom gels. So there is a 10% discount code below. There's also a 20% discount code below for color art, anything on the color art website. And so don't forget to check out the description box. Oh, look at that mess. Okay, I'm about to get right in the way, so sorry. I'm not doing very good so far, guys. I did not do a great job of that. Okay, taking a breath. Hold on just a second. Okay, we can, <clears throat> woo, lightheaded. We can probably recover from this for a couple of reasons because we have a lot of paint and we still have quite a bit of cell activator we can move around. So um, oh, bear with me while I catch my breath. Um, there's still quite a bit of cell activator right here, but what I wanna try to do is catch some of these edges. Can you guys see that? Let me zoom you in a little bit. Hope it doesn't blur. Catch some of these edges and just expand them a little bit. We honestly don't have to do too much work here because there's too much pillow paint on, so it will expand and spin off, and we will sort of luck out from having too much pillow paint. But I still want to, part of this is practice for me as much as anything else, so. Like I can blow them out with the dryers and stuff, but I kind of like to have control over the bloom and you get a little bit more control sometimes when you blow it out yourself. And I'm just tired of making excuses for not being able to do it well. So <clears throat> let me see if I can zoom you in a wee bit. Um, well, uh, it's autofoc autofocus troubles, so 
I don't know if how well you can see this, but do you see all the depth in the middle? Um, some of that is the black paint, some of it's the cell activators. So I love all of this right here. I was on the fence about using the Tangerine Dream in here and now I'm really glad I did. All right guys, so I popped a couple bubbles. Um, I am, because the center is moving a little bit, I'm gonna scoot it a little bit to try to give us a more even spin out. <clears throat> I'm definitely still getting better at blowing these out myself, but you know, progress so far. This may look really busy when it's done, but I still think the colors are super beautiful together. What I need to work on is, of course, the blowing, but also the paint ratio, because I have so much paint on that if I wanted to keep these edges, which I don't because I didn't do a good job over here, but if I wanted to keep these edges like this really cool stuff right here, we might lose that. And that's where a lot of our Tangerine Dream is showing and a lot of our actual contrast. But where it's really dark in the middle, you'll see as we spin, it should open up a little bit. Now normally I don't tilt too much uh, once I blow it out unless the whole thing moves. The whole thing doesn't usually move for me, but I still limit my tilting um, because sometimes I get wonky cells when I tilt. Uh, that's not that way for everyone, but it is often for me. Yikes, I don't have my spinner or my pool out here, so I'm just kind of living on the edge. Look at that. A little too much black paint at the top would be one of my criticisms of this one. Uh, maybe I should have just left the Thalo turquoise um, because the black paint is covering up a lot, but it's still pretty. Um, I should have used just very little or maybe put it underneath the turquoise thalo and let the turquoise thalo make it blend a little bit better. This looks a little squirrely to me and that's probably from the tilting, but look at those colors together. It's pretty amazing. I might do a tile with you guys using the same colors and leaving the black off. Of course, the tile will blow out a little easier because I'll use a little world's smallest blower and so, it won't be as much of a practice for me, um, but sometimes when you're trying to figure out how you should do your colors, it's good to try it on like a set of coasters because then you have an idea. Of, obviously, it's gonna look different when it's a bigger piece, but you have an idea of what the layering will do differently and what the colors will do differently. I still think it's really pretty. Definitely, again, a lot of black, the interference, um, the interference cell activator definitely made a difference, but the black seems to have kind of dominated it a little bit. So I would also be curious what would happen if we just use a black cell activator and we didn't use the bronze and we didn't use the black acrylic paint. I'm kind of tempted to go get another eight inch round and see what that looks like. Um, but I don't know if I want to make this video too long. So we'll see. Let me pop some bubbles and I'll bring you in for a close up. All right, everybody. So here's our close up. I am a little afraid that this is going to dry too dark and the center is going to be um, just too dark, but it's really beautiful. I, I think the Tangerine Dream played a huge part. Look at that. This is one of my favorite parts right here. And that citrine druzy is so beautiful. And then the amber wing. You can see the little outline of the um, pearl red cell activator. And so I'm really torn. I think I'm going to go again real quick. And I'm going to omit the black at the top underneath the cell activator. And what I'm torn about is do I, do I keep the bronze... Or do I just do a black cell activator with the pearl red? So super torn. These cells got a little weird and wonky, but I'm probably the only one that notices that. So hang in there with me. I think we're going to go ahead and do a two for one. Man, I love these little cute cells. Okay, two for one. All right, I went again. I messed this up. 
I didn't want to bother you with the with the do-over, um, but I'm gonna pour over what I just did. And because I know now that the bronze still looks cool, I'll probably keep it. I am kind of tempted to go ahead and do the just the black at this point, but I'm not gonna do that. I need to cover up that gushy part. Good grief. Just needed a win, you know? Didn't need that. I'm not super worried about some of this, but it might show through, so. Just wanna. Okay, there's plenty of paint on the surface. Way more than what's needed. Okay. Quinacridone Crimson. I really love the way this looks with the Tangerine Dream and the bronze. It's really cool looking. Okay. Okay, Amber Wing. <clears throat> and I was, I was doing pretty good. I wasn't doing perfect, but I was doing pretty good. Ooh, look at that. Don't even think about it. Big lobby. I was doing pretty good, and then I, like, blew too hard. That's, this is why sometimes, like, I don't become good at things because... I fail a lot along the way I get frustrated and then I just want to go for something I know will work but you know that's not always gonna get us what we want you know so all right turquoise thalo really can't afford for this one to go wrong because we don't really have any left in here what we do have is like the bottom of the barrel oh my gosh can you please go where I put you? Go where I put you. Don't be so cantankerous. The good thing about turquoise phthalo is it does kind of dry dark, but, sorry, my dog's drinking water, but it's kind of a semi-transparent color, so even though I accidentally globbied it in some places, it'll be all right, I hope. All right, pearl red. Sorry, you can probably hear my dog drinking all the water. Lamp black. Okay. Bronze. I like Amsterdam's bronze because it's like a copper color. I mean, they have copper, obviously, but... Ooh, it's probably too much. Okay, here we go again. did it again. I did it again, but it's not as bad, so I'm kind of leaving it alone for a second. messed it up right there too. Okay. Oh man. Let me 
might be a good thing that I used way too much cell activator on here. Oh, I'm lightheaded and I gotta fix it. Okay, here we go, trying to fix it. Oh my gosh, I just put my chin right in the middle of that. Oh my gosh. You guys, I'm so dis discombobulated over here. All right, so I kind of left the spot alone that I messed up real bad and it sort of came back together a little bit on its own. It's right here. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but it's right here. I'm trying to like, <laughs> trying to like blow the good cells over it but everything I'm doing is like backfiring. So now I'm just trying to like dot it a little bit. Like, please go away, big white blobby. And there's a couple places I think I can stretch out my cell activator a little bit to maximize our efforts here. Ooh. Can't tell you how many times I've gotten my chin in the center of a bloom trying to do this. And surprisingly, it doesn't always do that much damage. It's kind of surprising. Now, I keep trying to outwit this part by like dabbing it, you know, so that these pretty cells will maybe overpower it a little bit. I know sometimes you guys tell me to use a syringe and stuff, but I'm not sure that I'm that brave to take that chance at this point, you know, so I'm just trying to minimize the impact of this. Thankfully, it's not like deep into the pillow. So I think some of the color will show through as it dries and it won't be as big of a deal as it is to me right now. But it's a heck of a lot better than what we poured over. Um, all right. Where there's places where I can catch the lacing, I want to try. That wasn't great. I think part of my problem is I, when I blow, I blow like too narrow and um, it doesn't catch all that I'm going for. I didn't do a great job there, but that's going to be at the very edge, so I'm not too worried. Okay. That's also kind of a mess. So... This one part doesn't have a lot of lacing, and I think I can catch it, but I'm also afraid to mess it up. Yeah, that may just not be that great. Okay, so the center, obviously a lot less dark. Let's spin it out, see how it goes. There's, <clears throat> it's not a perfect blowout, but there's a lot of paint on there. Yo, I just got the paint on my counter. Gotta clean that up. Um, the colors are great. I need to pop a couple of these bubbles before I spin the rest out. Um, even the funky part in the middle is becoming less noticeable as we spin. Let me pause you for a second. All right, everybody, so I popped some bubbles. I really like this. It's not perfect. You can see where I blew in a little bit too much here. We still have some paint to get off. So we're just gonna spin a little bit more and I'll bring you down for a close-up. Let me know what your opinion was of these two. Which one did you like better? I like this one better. 
uh, composition wise, the first one had less challenges, but this one turned out okay. I like the like the center of this one a lot better. <clears throat> um, and also, did you mind this being a little bit longer if we did two blooms with the same color palette? Because um, sometimes for me to get all the stuff out to paint and take the time to do all that, sometimes it makes sense to try to do a couple at one time. But I don't want to start a video with like a dirty surface and separate them. So let me know what your opinion is on that. Um, and you know, I may do voiceovers and save you the time anyway, but let me know. Don't forget about the discount codes below. We're still spinning, so I'm just covering things. Um, you may ask, why don't you just spin the heck out of it? Well, you don't necessarily want to do that. Um, sometimes that really screws up your composition and you can't control it as well as you could if you just spin gently. Uh, you can get away with spinning kind of wild a little earlier on in the game, but not when you're down to the details. I think I might have just dabbed that crazy spot, made it a little less noticeable. So we have a little bit over here where the white is showing, but we still need to get a tiny bit more paint off. I don't want to spin a whole bunch more because for one, I have paint all over my table. And for two, I don't want to mess up what's in the middle, but when it jiggles back, you kind of need a little bit more off. Um, and I might have just used too much cell activator. Actually, it's because I poured over the one underneath. But yeah, so this might look a little crazy because the other one is underneath it, but let me bring you down for a close-up. I still, I think she's pretty, you know? We had to work for her, but I think she's pretty. So be right there everyone so here's our close-up I really like this one I love this part the center you can see the interference cells really cool this is the part that I kind of messed up but it looks all right now it's not great but I love this part I can tell that my cells got a little bit big because I had to get all that paint off but the bronze CA looks really cool on the outer edges especially around those two colors. Um, so yeah, what do you think? Which one do you like better? Did you mind the two for one? What do you think? Thanks for watching. Thank you for all your support. Don't forget to catch the collaboration if you missed it so that you can enter to win. And yeah, don't forget about the discount codes and everything in the description box below. And I appreciate you guys so much. Have a great day.